Joe Biden has a frail body, but is he a weak president? Well, that's the question apparently many Americans are asking. I mean, he is not bad, but he hasn't been that impactful either, not even infamously like Donald Trump. Instead, his presidency has been riddled with memes, unsure policies, and controversies. As we head towards the 2024 American elections, we wonder whether Biden will win for a second term, or will we have a new face as president? Hello, folks. Today on Behind the Date, we will look at the life and presidency of Joe Biden. We will look at his policies, his controversies, and life in general. Every president brings something new to the table. Let's look at what Biden did as the 46th president of America. Joe Biden was born on November 20, 1942, in Scranton, Pennsylvania, to Joseph Biden Sr. and Catherine Finnegan Biden. He was the first of four children and the first in his family to attend college. Biden was raised in Scranton and attended Archmere Academy, a Catholic high school in Claymont, Delaware. He graduated in 1961 and went on to attend the University of Delaware, where he earned a bachelor's degree in 1965. After graduating, Biden attended Syracuse University College of Law, where he earned a Juris Doctor degree in 1968. In 1969, he was admitted to the Delaware Bar and began his career as a public defender, representing defendants who could not afford a lawyer. He also served as a county councilman in Newcastle County from 1970 to 1972. In 1972, Biden was elected to the U.S. Senate, representing Delaware. He was re-elected six times, serving from 1973 until 2009. During his time in the Senate, Biden was the chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee from 1987 to 1995 and the chairman of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee from 2001 to 2003. He was also the vice presidential nominee of the Democratic Party in the 2008 presidential election. In 2009, Biden was sworn in as the 47th vice president of the United States, serving alongside President Barack Obama from 2009 to 2017. Joe Biden has been an important part of the Obama administration. With the administration, he strongly advocated for the middle class, working families, and human rights. He played a crucial role in issues like job creation, job training, and education. He also strongly voiced his support for America's veterans and was a staunch supporter of the United Nations and other international organizations. He advocated for economic growth by closing tax loopholes and increasing taxes on the wealthy. Finally, he also was an outspoken advocate for civil rights, women's rights, and LGBT rights. Joe Biden has been an invaluable asset to the Obama administration and to the American people. And hence, after President Obama's term ended, Biden ran for president in the 2020 election and won, making him the 46th president of the United States. Biden is now the oldest president to have been elected to office at 78 years old and is the first president to have a grandchild in the White House. Biden is a centrist Democrat, and his domestic policy platform largely follows the Obama-Biden administration's policies. He has proposed several initiatives to increase access to health care, reduce income inequality, and tackle climate change. He also supports increasing the federal minimum wage to $15 an hour, expanding the Affordable Care Act, and creating a new public health insurance option. He has also proposed increasing taxes on the wealthy and corporations to pay for his ambitious domestic agenda. On foreign policy, Biden has promised a return to multilateralism and a focus on diplomacy to address global issues. He has vowed to re-engage with world leaders and rejoin international agreements, such as the Paris Climate Accord and the Iran nuclear deal. He also plans to end the U.S.'s support for the Saudi-led war in Yemen and to support negotiations between Israel, Palestine, and other regional stakeholders. 
Biden is a very experienced and respected leader on the world stage who has had a long career in public service. But that doesn't mean he is loved by all. Looking at the current sentiment, he stands strong to be the weakest president ever of the United States. Joe Biden's administration has been scrutinized for many weaknesses. These weaknesses range from his lack of big ideas and policy initiatives to his lack of leadership and engagement with the public. Majorly, Biden has failed to capitalize on his unique position as the sitting president. Despite the Democratic Party's control of both the House and Senate, he has not been able to capitalize on his party's majority to pass major legislation. Instead, he has focused on passing smaller bills with limited scope and impact. As a result, his presidency has been marked by a lack of significant progress on major issues such as health care, immigration, and climate change. Biden has also failed to properly engage with the public. Throughout his presidency, he has received criticism for his lack of public engagement and his failure to adequately explain and promote his policy initiatives. This has led to a disconnect between the public and the White House, which has weakened Biden's ability to persuade the public to support his agenda. He also has been criticized for not adequately responding to crises such as the COVID-19 pandemic, which has further weakened his public standing. Biden's presidency has also lacked any bold ideas and policy initiatives. He has largely relied on the initiatives of his predecessor, former President Barack Obama, such as the Affordable Care Act and the American Rescue Plan. While these initiatives have been beneficial, they do not represent the kind of bold, progressive policy agenda that Biden promised during his campaign. This lack of innovation has limited Biden's ability to make progress on major issues relevant to the current times. Recently, Biden is also strongly criticized for his inaction or enabling America's support for Israel, which is perpetrating one of the biggest genocides in recent times. If you liked the video, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. We post interesting stories from around the world every other day. Also, if you are interested in more such life essays on political leaders, then check out our previous video, India's First Ever President, Rajendra Prasad.